I'm sitting in the lobby of an office building that houses, among other things, my uh, former trucking company. And I say former because they fired me this morning. They did so because I complained. I dared to complain about what they had done, which was put me in a truck that was illegal because the smog systems in it were deleted. That's not right. They ordered me to run past my hours of service illegally and said that they had uh, people standing by to edit my logs, fix them, if you will, make them look legal. And three different people in this company, Super Ego Trucking in uh, Bensonville, Illinois, they're, they call themselves a holding company. They actually bought several other trucking companies, uh, Floyd Logistics and Windy City Freight, something like that. They've got a bunch of these little companies underneath them, but it's all super ego. Well, so they ordered me to run dirty, and three different people within the company told me that, uh, oh, yeah, we do that all the time. We can edit logs. It's all good. <sighs> Not legal at all. And then finally, I had this one load that had a 20-hour waiting time on it, which meant it had um, what turned into $709 worth of detention. That kind of thing happens. It means you end up sitting around. Well, they pay you for that. Not enough, but $709 bucks is not terrible. Well, when they sent that message uh, as far as what they're willing to pay back to my dispatchers, my dispatchers didn't realize that I had the same information. They didn't know that I'd been in contact with the broker. So they told me it was 300 bucks. Tried to rip me off for $409. And this morning, when I confronted them about all these problems, they fired me. Now, they're going to regret that big time. Man, are they ever going to regret that. But meanwhile, they've left me in a pickle. I booked about $3,000 worth of business for them in those four days of running. And they're saying they're not going to pay me for it. So sorry, too bad. We don't need to be dealing with uh, somebody who complains. Goodbye. Boy, are they going to regret it. But for right now... I'm going to be honest, I'm in trouble. Jill's back home in Alabama with cancer. Recovering from uh, the radiation surgery, which just, uh, sorry, radiation course just finished. She had 15 treatments and now she's, uh, de her body's de stressing from all that now, successfully, thank God. And. I've got 40 bucks in my pocket. The trucking company I was with before this one, they were honest, but their equipment was bad and kept breaking down and didn't make any money with them. I'm behind on bills. And I'm in more financial trouble than I've ever been in my life. Now, this particular situation, it's going to get fixed because there are rules against what they've done big time rules against what they've done but for the moment I'm in trouble I'm in real trouble I have crapped out this time and, uh, <sighs> I can't decide whether to be furious or whether to be depressed. I don't know. This one's painful. I didn't make any mistakes here. I didn't I didn't cause any of this. At one point I asked my recruiter, so if I have run illegally like you're ordering, ordering me to, your dispatcher's ordering me to. If I'm running illegal and I'm 13 hours into an 11 hour driving day and I crash, I'm upside down in a ditch and the truck's on fire, I guess the first thing I'm supposed to do, despite a broken arm, is find my phone, call the uh, quote unquote safety department at Super Ego, 
And I'm supposed to say, hey, guys, fix my logs before the cops show up and I go to prison. Yeah, I don't think so. It's insane. Bonkers. Bonkers. I will post proof soon about everything that happened. I recorded the audio with the three different people telling me to run dirty. Yeah, gonna get them. Gonna nail or bust the wall. But meanwhile, I'm stuck. I'm depressed. Got all my my stuff sitting next to me. There it is. Got the, that bag's got my computer in it. All right. Bedding and clothes and a few bag of miscellaneous tools. Lord of mercy. But it will be back on the 30th. Crap. Anyway, Jim Simpson signing off. Thank you. Oh, I'll just say it. If you can kick in a little bit. I'll put my Cash App address down below. If you can help a bit, I'd appreciate it. God, what a mess. Thank you. Bye.